Aunt Karen is the perpetrator of most racism on this app. I would go as far to say that Aunt Karen is the most racist person on this app. Unkaren Zero is by far the most hated black content creator on TikTok. But who is she? Well, she's a self-proclaimed otaku and social justice warrior that amassed almost 2 million followers on TikTok with the sole purpose of exposing racism, homophobia, and anything she personally deems as offensive to minority sensibilities. Now I use the term exposing loosely because some of her detractors preferred the more malignant term of doxing. Like at the very least, Modern Warrior doesn't do this like insane doxing shit. Like you want to have a petty fight with a kid online, be my guest, but like Aunt Karen goes to the next level found this kid's like address and fucking phone number and called his dad. Also, she called my father and recorded the convo to get him to say things about me to make me look bad. My parents have to delete all their socials. My entire family is getting harassed. They left the house because they're scared we are going to get swatted. So apparently she even has like their information because they're, they left the fucking house. That's how afraid of her they are. You see, Unkaren's primary method of attack when she is made aware of a particular offensive act is to find out who you are, your full government name, and most importantly, the name of your employer, to which an army of social justice warriors will be released upon you with the fury of a thousand demons. They contact your employer relentlessly, imploring them to fire you. And of course, in today's woke culture, they do. I don't see it as a reason to take away my job, let alone take them away my job by calling me a white supremacist. So now this one person has the unchecked power to ruin lives with little to no thought on the true ramifications of her actions. Instead, she chalks it up like it's another day at the office with her poignant catchphrase. The devil works hard. The devil works hard. The devil works hard. But we, but we, but we work harder, work harder. But the hate she received from conservative white people never truly bothered on Karen. Cause you see, it was their hate that got her to where she is. But now she's facing a bigger problem. She's being hated by the very people she claims to advocate for. You've taken the Karen in your name a little too seriously. You've taken it a little too seriously because what type of entitled nonsense is this? Recently, I have been disappointed in so many like social justice platforms and people because I think social media has gotten to them. Accounts that I used to love so deeply or learn or go on to be educated from have now become almost the oppressor. I think it's high time that we start to recognize her as the white woman she truly aspires to be. She obviously doesn't care to create a stronger bond of sisterhood with many other black women from different nations. That is something she clearly does not care about. But if it had been a white woman who was offended by the term of third world country, how do you think that would have went? You said in that video that you would expect this to happen in a third world country. What that means? I don't know. I don't even think you know. Because you've never lived in a country that is labeled a third world country. That operates off of mob justice. Your activism is not actually directed to people who look like you, who are from third world countries. This has put you on my YouTube channel dedicated to making you think about things differently. So in this video, I'm going to put you on Uncaring, the most hated black creator on TikTok. It all starts with a simple premise. The Ku Klux Klan decided to wear hoods and masks so that they can hide their true identity as they perform some of the most vile acts in American history. So let me ask you this. If you knew the true identity of a Klan member, would you out them publicly? Meaning, would you purposefully let everyone know that the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan was not only your neighbor, but also the local sheriff? And if you knew this, I'm assuming you'd want the local sheriff to be fired immediately, right? You see, if you agree with this ideology, then you should technically be a follower of on Karen because her and her followers believe that the best way to combat racism and racist acts is to expose the people performing them and they believe that today's version of the KKK hood is really anonymous social media posts of racist acts for example let's say one day you decided to make a TikTok with a little dark humor poking
poking fun at racial stereotypes to your 16 followers on an anonymous account. But you're careful. You not only make sure that your face and name are nowhere on the post, but you also created a brand new TikTok just to make this joke. I really don't understand what the big deal is. It's not even that hard. So you post it and move on with your day. Then three days later, your boss calls you into the office and decides to let you go due to their ethical policy of misconduct. And they cite that little video that you posted as reference. Now, how did this happen? Well, it's because Aunt Karen was eventually tagged in the video and her 1.7 million followers cracked the case and found out exactly who you are, your name, address, and where you work. Then they flood your job with emails and phone calls imploring them to fire you or their boy and of course, your job immediately complies. Now, the reason why this is a big deal is because this very act of exposing racists can easily be called doxing, which is one of the worst things you can do to someone on the internet. And it's this moral gray area that calls millions of people to hate on Karen's platform because it's fighting one bad act with what some people would consider a worse one. So over a few months, Aunt Karen doxed and exposed hundreds of alleged racists and homophobes leading to dozens of people being banned, kicked out of school, lose their jobs, and sometimes even be arrested. For example, she peaked when she decided to publicly out another creator named Only Jayus for racial acts in her past, causing Only Jayus to lose thousands of dollars in endorsements and making her post an angry video towards on Karen talking about it. I forgot to respond to an email from this creator that wanted to collab with me, and you know, instead of just like hitting me up again, they made seven! FUCKING VIDEOS ABOUT IT! CAN YOU PLEASE LEAVE ME THE FUCK ALONE? And Aunt Karen went viral again when she decided to dox this young man who made a racially insensitive joke about the new Little Mermaid reaction videos, leading this young man to be expelled and his sister, who's a working actor, to lose roles and opportunities as well, causing the sister to plead with Aunt Karen to stop the onslaught from her army, to which Aunt Karen never did. So Aunt Karen's platform grew faster under this premise, being TikTok's biggest social justice warrior that exposes bigotry. That is, one day until she was tagged in a video about another a creator named Modern Warrior, who was accused of sexually assaulting multiple women. You felt entitled to my body because I trusted you. You felt entitled to my body because I had publicly supported you. You, you violated my trust. So Aunt Karen sprang into action and began to accuse him as well and spread the rumors of his allegations, only for Modern Warrior to be found completely innocent of the accusations a few days later, to which Aunt Karen received true backlash from her own community and was forced to give an apology herself. I'm not making excuses. I'm just acknowledging that I was wrong and that I definitely wish I never got my foot into the door of this mess. Unfortunately for her, it won't be her last. Because a few weeks ago, she made another huge mistake that caused thousands of followers to turn on her in an apparent act of consolidation with the women of Iran and civil unrest going on in the country. Aunt Karen decided to cut her hair off completely, which turned out to be a huge epic fail that followers did not like. Because it was now Aunt Karen doing exactly what she accuses so many racists of doing, which was centering herself in the story of someone else's oppression. Thus, she decided to give another apology video for this next step. So my apologies that uh, that I didn't do what you feel is the right way to support. But that isn't the last of her recent mistakes. She's also been widely criticized by her audience for her use of the word third world countries. Then, when she was informed about her snafu, she decided to double down on her statement. Obvious that that's not what was said. Then you, uh, well, what country was you talking about then? It don't matter a third world country that's the country i was talking about whichever third one you can think of which upset a large chunk of international followers due to her insensitivity towards other countries then her hate hit an all-time high when she drew criticisms from Nicki minaj because aunt karen had created a post to which she criticizes another creator for going on 50 dates in 50 states with 50 women but her main critique being that he only dated white women to which Nicki minaj responded with the following post yo could you imagine waking up looking in the mirror realizing 
realizing you're a black queen and going on TikTok to concern yourself with a white man dating white women in different states with his own fucking money? Are y'all not fucking tired of looking this insecure? This is the equivalent to a Karen and using terms like what you not gonna do to pander to black queens is so fucking ill. Like, this only makes these women feel like y'all are jealous and fucking obsessed with them, which further boosts their self-esteem. I'm gonna give this woman of the day award on the next queen radio cause child enough is enough what you not gonna do girl gone this caused the black community to look further into the personal life of aunt karen only to discover that aunt karen is actually dating a white man resulting in her losing a lot of credibility in the black community despite all of the social justice work that she had done because now there's a large portion of the black community that believes she is overly occupied with the personal dating choices of white men which they they believe should not be her concern. So as the black community went through more and more of her posts, they began to find dozens of posts to which she criticizes black men relentlessly for their dating choices and only criticizes white men for never choosing to date black women in the first place. In essence, she criticizes people's personal preferences of dating. This criticism led on Karen to respond explaining her position that black men never found her attractive. I realize that I am not what most black men find attractive. And here's how. Social media. When I look at shows like this, what's promoted, these are women who are not like me at all. I don't see myself. I see a lot of women with BBLs, uh, uh, allegedly, and nothing that I have. And she also addresses the fact that she does have a black daughter with a black father. My daughter is black. She has a black father and obviously a black mother. But it's interesting to me how so many black men like you always want to question my blackness. It feels like black men like you hate to see a successful black woman with a white man. But she feels that her relationships with black men were never successful, so she chooses to date a white man. In essence, she comes on her platform to explain her personal preferences of dating, which furthers bolsters the point that Nicki Minaj made, and thus the black community began to cancel on Karen. So now on Karen is hated by the segments of the following groups, white conservatives, Iranian women, indigenous people, international people from impoverished nations, and the black community within America. And I'm sure if she keeps her platform going as it has she'll continue to add to those groups but hey being hated never bothered on karen in fact it's what got her two million followers in the first place so what do you think about on karen do you think she deserves to be hated let me know in the comments below